Alrighty, here we are. We're back for part five, I believe, of our atomic theory discussion. And uh, for part four, we, we really concentrated on the mole concept. I, I introduced you to the mole concept. You guys know what Avogadro's number is, I hope. Uh, you know how to calculate the atomic mass of an element as well as a compound. And you know that the atomic mass of an element in grams gives you one mole of that element's atoms or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of that element's atoms. You also know, I hope, that the formula mass or molecular mass in grams of a compound gives you one mole of that uh, compound's molecules or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of those molecules. Now, what if I don't want one mole? What if I want less than one mole? How will I find out the mass of that many moles? This is a common calculation in chemistry. Not in this class, but in practically every chemistry class you will take. Now, not 0.156 moles of cobalt per se, but the type of calculation we're about to do is very, very common. So, uh, make your peace with this. Learn how to do it. Um, if you do, you'll be very successful in this class. If you don't, you're going to struggle for the rest of the year. So watch how I set this up, and you might want to come back and review this every once in a while. So if I have 0.156 moles of cobalt, CO, we're going to do our dimensional analysis. We're going to put moles of cobalt on the bottom, and I want to get into grams. So I'll put that on top. Now, a little hint here. Whenever you do these calculations, immediately put the number one by mole. How do I find the number of grams in one mole of cobalt atoms? Well, do you remember? Yeah, we use our periodic table. So it says the atomic mass of cobalt is 58.933 grams per mole. So 58 point, we're going to go to the nearest hundredth, remember, grams. So you can see moles of cobalt divide out, and I'm left with grams of cobalt. So all that's left is my calculating. So 0.156, and since 58.93 is on top, we're going to multiply by it. I get to three significant figures, 9.1, oh, sorry about that, 9.19, there we go, I fixed it grams of cobalt. That would be 0.156 moles of cobalt. Now, if I wasn't doing this for cobalt, if I was doing it for another element, I would need to look up its atomic mass. Okay? All right, let's do a bunch more, shall we? Let's go backwards this time. A moment ago, I started with moles and had you convert to grams. This time, I'm going to start with grams and have you convert to moles. No big deal. So I'm going to give you 14.75 grams of aluminium, AL. Now we're going to put grams of aluminium on the bottom and moles of aluminium on top. Put a 1 by mole. So now we need to look up the atomic mass for aluminium and it says 26.982. So we're going to go with 26.98. Okay, so grams will divide out and I will have moles. This time I'm dividing by a number, or numbers on the bottom other than one, so I'm going to divide by it instead of multiply. So 14.75 divided by 26.98. Enter. All right, looks like we're allowed four significant figures this time. 0.5467 moles of aluminium. Okay, so I just went from grams to moles. All right, number 11. How many atoms are in example 10? How do we go from moles, which we have right now, to atoms? Well, let's take this answer here. 0.5467 moles of aluminium. We will put moles on the bottom. All right, we want to divide out of it. And this time we want to get into atoms. 
Do you remember what number I put by mole? Have you been listening? Put a one there all the time, right away. I forgot my S in atoms. Whoops. Now, how many atoms are there in a mole? Well, an atom is a fundamental particle. The number of fun fundamental particles in a mole is always the same. It's Avogadro's number, isn't it? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So moles divide out, and I am into atoms now. So let's plug this in my calculator and see what we get. Uh, well, my 0.5467, I'll enter it again. I'm going to multiply by 6.022 second EE to the 23rd. Enter. Four sig figs again. I have 3.292 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of aluminum. So I went from moles, or excuse me, from grams into moles, and from moles into atoms. You have that on your homework tonight, uh, all of these calculations that we just did. Now we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to use a compound instead of an element. So let's take a look at example 12. 0.25 moles of ammonia, and I want to hop into grams. So 0.25 moles of NH3. So we're going to put moles of NH3 on the bottom, and I want to hop into grams. So put grams of NH3 on top. Put a one by mole, right? Hey, we did this calculation a few minutes ago. I wonder what the molecular weight of NH3 is. I think we found that on a previous page. Let me see if I can dig for it here for you. Oh, there it is. NH3, the formula mass is 17.04. Remember, the mass in grams is one mole of that compound. So, 17.04 grams per mole. Now, just as a review, we got that by adding the mass of one nitrogen to the mass of three hydrogens. So moles disappear, and we're into grams of ammonia. Now it looks like we're only allowed two sig figs this time. 0.25 times 17.04. What do we get? 4.26 rounds off to 4.3 grams of ammonia. Okay? Alright, now I just gave you moles and we found grams. Can we go the other way around? Can I give you grams and find moles? Absolutely. You should be getting the hang of this now. 2.50 grams of sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. This time, what unit goes in the bottom? Right. Grams of H2SO4. And we want to get into moles of H2SO4. Put a one by mole. Okay, we got to figure out the molecular weight of that real quick. So we have two hydrogens, and they're 1.01 apiece. Look on your periodic table if you don't believe me. And we're going to add that to one sulfur. Ah, sulfur is 32.0. What are you, sulfur? 0, 07. Okay, and we've got four oxygens. So I'm going to use my parentheses key here. 4 times oxygen 16.00. We'll add that up. 98.09 grams per mole. So grams of H2S so far are gone. And we're in moles of H2S04. So let's see. 2.50 and 98.09 is on the bottom. You know what we do with that. Divide 98.09 enter uh, three significant figures 0 0.0255 moles of sulfuric acid that's how many moles I would have if I had 2.50 grams of it okay one more problem so this is a shorter video but you know it's going to be about 11 minutes long but if it takes you 20 minutes to go through it that's okay you need to learn how to do these calculations and we'll practice some with the next video, okay? We'll do some of your homework for you. Okay, how do I find the number of molecules now? Well, isn't that just like finding the number of atoms uh, in aluminum a little while ago? You bet it is. So we have 
0 0.0255 moles of H2SO4. We'll get out the moles of H2SO4 and we're going to get into molecules of H2SO4. Put a one by mole. Now a molecule is a fundamental unit, just like an atom was. So there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in a mole. Now since that's on top, we're going to multiply by it. So let's clear this out. 0 0.0255 times 6.022, second EE to the 23rd, enter. Looks like we have three significant figures, 1.54 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of H2SO4. Okay? Hey, if you understand these calculations, you can do any of these that I give to you on your homework. You really can. And you're going to use this tool throughout the year. Go back and review this video as often as you need. Um, I hope it was helpful. On um, the next video, before we press forward, we're going to do some more examples, and I'll even help you with some from your homework. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys learned from this. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.